Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: Find the amount and the compound interest on rupees one lakh compounded quarterly for nine months at rate of four percent per annum. So this is our question. So I solve this. So first, we will write the information that has been given. So first, we write the principal. It is given rupees one lakh. So now rate of interest. It is given four percent per annum. So quarterly means it it is being calculated in terms of four months. So in twelve there are four months. So in case of semi annually we used to divide the rate of interest by two. So and in, in case of quarterly you have to divide this by four. So is equal to four by four. So cut it becomes one percent per quarterly. So now the time is equal to given nine months. So nine months means three quarterly. So it becomes three quarterly. And guys, uh, first of all, I made a mistake. Uh, I told that rate of interest is being uh, calculated for four four months. That is wrong. It will be three months. So therefore, three months divided by nine, so it becomes three quarterly. So therefore, can write now am amount is equal to. So you're writing finding out the amount that is equal to. Formula is principal into one plus r by hundred or the rate by hundred to the power n, where n is the time. So we put the values. Principal is one lakh into one plus r is one by hundred to the power three. So we put the value. Solve this. So first we do the insert portion first. So this one we do in the bracket in the rough. So it become one by one by hundred. So if we take hundred as the LCM, so it becomes hundred plus one, so it becomes one hundred one by hundred. So th this one hundred one into one by hundred will be written here three times to the power three. So one hundred one by hundred into one hundred one by hundred into one hundred one by hundred. So cut as zeros. One more. So it become one hundred one into one hundred one into one hundred one by ten. So is equals to. So now I have to find out this one hundred one into one hundred one into one hundred one. So first now uh, this one that is the one hundred one into one hundred one. So this side we keep side. So this one you can do orally. Now with one trick. The trick is first one into one that is one. So you in 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 this trick we have to take two digits. Two two digits and the number is only one, so therefore we can we will take zero one. And one hundred one is one times greater than hundred, so therefore one will be added to one hundred one. So it becomes one hundred two in one one ten thousand one in one into one hundred one. So now this one we do in the rough, as it is very easy. Two zero two one zero two zero one by one hundred one. So one one zero one zero two zero one. So as in case of zero, I skip this. So give two cross. So now again one. So we put the value. That one zero two zero one. So it becomes one zero three zero three one zero. So right here one zero three zero three zero one by ten. So ten means it will go to one decimal place. So it becomes one three three zero. Sorry. One zero three zero three zero point one zero. So as it is in rupees, we give one more zero. So it will become rupees. So now this is the amount. So now I will find out the compound interest. So therefore, compound interest that is CI is equal to formula is amount minus principal. So we put the values. Amount is this one only. That is one zero three zero three zero point one zero minus the principal. That is one lakh. So it becomes rupees three thousand thirty point one zero. So therefore, this is the compound interest. So one one lakh three thousand thirty point one zero is the amount, and the compound interest is three thousand three zero. I mean three thousand thirty point one zero. So this is our final answer for this questions. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for more solution.